you guys, it's Erica, and you might notice that my background is a little bit empty. Actually, it's completely empty. Um, don't mind the green tape. I've been painting my room, and I've had it on there for a really long time, and I barely finished cleaning up the edges today, like right now. So I can't take it off yet because the tape is, I mean, the paint is still drying, so that's what's going on. But um, some of you might have seen that I posted a ikea tour video where i was looking for shelves and stuff and i have the shelf here in this box and it's been like a week or two since i filmed that video and bought the shelf so it's finally time to set it up right now i'm gonna be building this ikea shelf um i'm gonna say that this is the plant person ikea shelf <laughs> um i think when i see people have it they have it in black i got it in white I'm kind of regretting that i don't know how it's gonna look but we'll see so anyways yeah the whole point of this video is i'm setting up the shelf i'm gonna attach girl lights to it i'm gonna put all my plants on it bring them in from outside so if you're interested continue watching like the video if you enjoy it subscribe if you haven't um yeah let's get started Okay, so I am thinking of where to place this on this wall. Ignore those holes <laughs> because my um, plug is right here and this is where I'm going to be plugging in the grow lights. So I'm kind of thinking about where I should put this. And I think right here is fine because I want to put my wooden shelf back because I want to keep that wooden shelf. Okay, I think right here is fine. So I stabilized the feet so that it doesn't like tip if I move it. Um, I also do live on the San Andreas Fault, like in earthquake land, so I live in California. So um, I'm probably gonna have to end up like attaching it to the wall somehow so that when an earthquake hits, my plants are all gonna fall everywhere. So I'm probably gonna do that eventually if I decide that I do like the spot that it's in. Um, but right now I'm going to leave it here. I'm not going to secure it and I'm going to hope that an earthquake doesn't come within the next week or so. <laughs> so that's where I'm at. I put all the, um, the glass on the shelves. Now I just need to bring in all the plants. I don't know where I'm going to put my humidifier right now because I don't want it on any of these because the, the air is not going to go anywhere. So I'm just thinking I'm going to put it on my wooden shelf still. I'm going to be bringing in a whole bunch of plants right now and yeah, hopefully <laughs> a lot more of them fit because I need them all to be inside now and I have like a bunch of plants that I had just in my room in general like they didn't even have a like spot. <laughs> so hopefully I can find them a forever home here and that the plants can live under LED lights. Which, speaking of, these are the ones that I bought off of Amazon and they're just regular LED lights with daylight um, wavelength. So that's what I'm gonna be using. So usually I use this to light up the room <laughs> when I film. So if it's really dark, it's because I'm about to hook these up onto here. Anyways, we're just gonna see what plants are short enough to fit under here and still have the LED lights. Oh, that's what's going on right now. Here we go. So I have put a whole bunch of plants on here. I definitely have a lot more, but these are kind of my like smaller ones. I have a problem because the shelves aren't really like spaced out enough to be adding a whole bunch of grow lights on each shelf so what i'm probably going to do is have a grow light on the top shelf and then plants that are oh i don't know i need to figure it out let me know what you guys think i should do i'm definitely going to add a lot more plants to this i would love to fit all my plants in this room but a lot of them i'm going to keep outside forever <laughs> because um they just really do well out there and 
the plants that looked super extremely happy where they're at in other places in my house, I'm just gonna leave them there. And um, if they start looking sad, I'll bring them in here. But there's a lot of plants out there that are just growing like crazy. And I don't wanna move them in here into a probably less <laughs> amazing spot for them than the ones they're at, just so that I can have all my plants on this shelf. Looking at my plants on this shelf kind of puts it into perspective. Um, but yeah, this is why I buy small plants all the time so they can fit in my house and I can have more plants. Um, so I'm probably going to be adding hopefully a lot more plants into here. I would say this is like half of them. This is like half my plants and some of them are really big some of them are hanging outside they're not going to be moved a lot of my hoys are staying outside i hope this video was a little bit entertaining it was pretty much <laughs> just me building a shelf and then bringing my plants to it well, i don't know what i'm going to do about up here because i need to put a grow light or something there's just a whole bunch of unknown things happening right now <laughs> that i need to figure out and then um i probably post a video about my grow lights I will actually definitely post a video about girl lights in general. You know what? Like, as long as we're here right now, I might as well just show you the plants that I brought in. So I'm going to show you my plants. These are not all my plants, and I feel like the lighting in here is really bad. This plant is in a lot of my videos. It is my Alocasia Friday, and I love it so much. This leaf um, died a couple of, maybe like a week ago. And I don't like to pull off the leaf or cut off the leaf until I can like actually pull it off easily. But I was kind of worried because I didn't see an, a new leaf coming in. And then I saw this one popping up and I was like, yes, okay. Because this plant always drops leaves when a new leaf is coming out. But <laughs> this time it dropped a new leaf and for a while it didn't have a new leaf coming out. So that one's finally coming out and I'm really excited. Um, this plant needs a lot of humidity, which is why I've been keeping it in my room under grow lights. So this plant is really good for living under grow lights. Here is my... I can't remember what it's called right now, but it is such a gorgeous plant. I just recently got this one and it has little flower buds. I'm pretty sure those are flower buds. There's like three of them. So it would be really cool to see them bloom. Oh, it has a new leaf coming out too. I don't know if you can see, but I love this plant so much. I'm going to put the name down because I really can't remember. I don't know why I'm blanking so much, but I really love this plant. It's so pretty and it has a lot of yellowing leaves. So I'm trying to solve that issue, but I think it was probably just from shipping because I did buy it online. And then this is my jade pothos it's so pretty i'm gonna bring it down i left this one outside for the summer so it is so full and pretty and long and i really love it a lot it did so amazingly outside but the little hooks fell off to hang it so i just decided to bring it in because it wasn't hanging on my porch anymore it was just sitting on a table and it was kind of a weird spot for it, so I just decided to bring it in here for now. This is my Maranta. It's just a red one. I really like it. I think this was my first Maranta, and I always told myself I would never buy any, like, Calatheas or Marantas or, like, any of the Marantaceae family because I heard that they were so difficult to take care of. And honestly, they just really like a lot of humidity and some pure water. Um, so they're not that difficult to take care of and I really love it. It's been growing so much. This is my samurai dwarf. I just um, repotted it. So I put its nursery pot into a the clay pot that it came in because I still haven't taken out the glue from there. So I'm going to need to do that. I just want to say that this is not how the plants are going to stay here. I just put them here for like quickly. I try to grab as many plants as possible and quickly move them into the room. So they're not going to stay like this if it's kind of weird ordered, that's why. But anyways, okay. This is my begonia. Ooh, this is the first begonia I ever got and it's called a jumbo jet begonia. And I just love it because of these dark green leaves. They're so beautiful to me. Um, it's come out with some new leaves. 
and it has some more coming out there but anyways i love this like this has introduced me to the world of begonias here are my two variegated string of hearts so gorgeous i absolutely love them um i think i'm gonna keep them in here but string of hearts grow really well outside of my house so i might end up just putting them outside with my regular string of hearts because they just grow so quickly out there here's my other begonia um some people told me the name of it but i don't remember right now i would have to go check but it's so pretty it's a little bit pink so i have that one and then back there i have a jewel orchid and it's the green one that looks like so amazing beautiful lightning um i have back here my little baby prince of orange um a zz plant i can't remember this plant's name but oh my gosh i'm so tired right now i don't remember this plant's name <laughs> but it's a philodendron i'll probably i'll write it down but there's my other um sansevieria i forgot the name of it too samurai samurai sansevieria down here i have a scandapsis pictus argyreus i don't know how to pronounce it but here it is so pretty so big i really love their leaves and how they have this um white outline on them i have a propagated spider plants i have so many propagated spider plants that i kind of <laughs> neglect them a little bit so this one's doing pretty good for how little care it's gotten um i have a neon pothos a i have so many jewel orchids actually here's um a jewel orchid i have a begonia Whitey eye maculata, 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 maculata. I don't know how to say it. The begonia maculata, whitey eye. Um, I have a Calathea white fusion, I think it's called. So pretty. I have a Calathea ornata, which is not doing well at all, if you can tell by these leaves. And that's because for a moment there, it wasn't getting enough humidity what's good is that i started like caring for it again so a little stem is coming out and that one's going to be beautiful because that one's not going to be damaged because i've been taking care of this plant um i have a a heart heart leaf philodendron and i have a philodendron brazil back there this is my hoya that i can't remember the name of my monkey cup I recently got, my green maranta that I got on clearance, um, back there is a string of hearts, here's my raven ZZ, here's my other philodendron brazil, I have so many philodendron brazils, I feel like, oh it's because I take, pro oh yeah, here's another one, that was a propagation, or something, here's my neon partly philodendron, that is a gold dust croton, that was just watered today and it should have been watered like a week ago but he'll perk back up <laughs> soon um here's another jewel orchid really big one here is a skindapsis treubii moonlight and it's so gorgeous i need to propagate it or yeah i needed to cut it because look how long this trail is so he's just kind of funky so he <laughs> needs to be <laughs> cut. Um, Philodendron Brazil. This is my Philodendron Scandapsis Pictus Exotica. And I just watered it today because I needed to water it a long time ago, but I didn't. And here is a Raphidophora Tetrasperma. Yeah, that's just a whole bunch of my plants right here. So this wasn't supposed to be like a plant tour, but I guess that's where it ended up. <laughs> I want to do like an actual like well done plant tour so hopefully I can get that done soon yeah I'm probably gonna fix this place up a little bit more so I can have more plants come in for the winter time I'm gonna need to spray them down get rid of all their bugs and stuff so that's what I got going on but yeah that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching I feel like it was kind of a random one 
Um, but yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.